The design philosophy that I draw on when creating ships is one within which I try to maintain some consistency and functional rationale. Ships have a reasonable amount of crew. The crew can sleep, eat, and live aboard the ship. Major points within the system are easy to access, and minor points are still accessible, and the ship needs to be accessible within the fleet. To that end, the Bright Core was never going to be complete without a reliable shuttle system. This is that system. As we enter the utility hangar, we can immediately see that there are some restrictions on any shuttle's dimensions. It needs to be narrow, and short enough to get through a pair of stacked gates in the vanilla game. And it can't be too long. Other vessels need access to this hangar as well. I gave myself a minimum requirement of an 8 passenger shuttle, and the final design supports 10. I knew from the beginning that I wanted landing gear, and the crew compartment had to be readily accessible. With these considerations in mind, without having built a shuttle before, I set to work. Hi, I'm Zach, and this is the Rovok Crew Transport System. The Rovok was loosely shaped by the form of the US Marine Corps' MTVR, or 7-ton, when configured for passenger transport. It'll seat 8 pretty comfortably, and if you're over 30, you wish there were a ramp, but you'll get a ladder instead. Setting out, I was lacking in inspiration, and searched the workshop for a shuttle design that would loosely fit my needs. I found the LAX SIO Strato by Night Raider pictured here. It's feature dense and quite well done. It was from this build that I learned that many small hydrogen tanks might work better for a shuttle than a single or multiple large ones. The Strato seats six plus two pilots and that wasn't quite what I was going for. I also took some issue with the limited visibility. Even in our world, the modern analog of a helicopter benefits from being able to see downward. Lastly, I didn't want the passengers to have to climb the vessel to get in or out. I got to work reshaping it, attempting to place a door at the rear and pared down the cockpit for a single pilot, but with more space to actually climb in and out of the control seat. When I began reshaping the windscreen, I built out this particular shape, and at one point looked at it sideways and thought, oh, I'm doing this wrong. That shape is my shuttle. I enjoy sharing the stuff I create. It's fun. But when I started building this, I honestly didn't know where to begin. And if I saw this, I'd be asking, what's going on inside? So let's answer that and peel the robot apart. The very exterior layer of the shuttle is almost all light armor panels. Some of it is decorative, other bits are the only thing separating your passengers from vacuum. And when we peel that away, we can see that the vast majority of the vessel's hull is conveyors, batteries, and hydrogen tanks. The only armor we see exists because the interior shape needed to accommodate the rotating seats, and functional blocks don't come in 2x1 slopes. By the third layer, we see that hydrogen tanks do indeed make up the hull of the vessel. We have our seat rotors, we have some of our conveyors, and we also have some of the ship's logic mixed into the hull here. As we come to the very core of the ship, our utility compartment opens up with power, fuel, and O2 tracking. Air vents, a survival kit, and a button panel for shutting down and starting the vessel also live down here. Moving forward, we see something of a control column with more timer blocks, programmable blocks, and event controllers flanking the cockpit, and beneath, a multi-directional array of floodlights, useful for avoiding debris during transit. Overall, I feel I've achieved the goals that I've set out to accomplish given that I can't add many more blocks without impeding the functionality or design philosophy of the vessel, and I've spent hours troubleshooting and tightening the logic between the 26 event controllers and timers on board, I'm quite happy with the result, and I'm looking forward to making the platform itself a little more multi-purpose. Is there anything you would add or modify to improve upon the design? Let me know what you think. Thanks for checking this out, and helping me out as I learn to create a new medium. If your day is made any better by videos like these, consider a like, and maybe even a subscribe. I'll see you next time.